Toys R Us actually had these on sale, and they were actually priced like they should be in other stores? What? Yes, this pack stabs. It's the obligatory Yu-Gi-Oh! episode. <laughs> Let's clear this table off. Anyways, four packs. We have two packs of Galactic Overload and two packs of Order of Chaos. Man, they've had a lot of sets. This is from Zexel era. Holy crap. Those are from the Zexel era. I don't know what era this is from, but I can tell that that little guy with the black hair with the pink highlight. Every one of them had like some crazy colored hair. Every one of them, but let's open... If not, yeah, it's nine cards a pack. I checked. So I was gonna buy the All Star pack Battle Royale, but it was not not worth it in my book. Cause these were usually, cause these usually cost like six, seven dollars, but it's marked down to four, which is what they should cost, as most other competitions have. But since they're a toy specialty and they're the only one in the city, they can rack up. They can do whatever they want with the prices. We have mini guts return. <laughs> Blade rounds bounza ceiling ceremony of rat ration light ray dark daedalus phantom bron bonzer what the heck are these bonzers falling current our guarantee card is light ray griefer greffer and the final card is berserk scales all right so no luck there pack number two Let's keep going. I'm trying to stay awake. It's not easy. Not easy at all. Gotta go to work soon. I don't want to go. Well, day after tomorrow, I don't want to go. Oh yeah, I need to check the score for the game. If they, I swear, if this team won, I will be so sad. Please be eliminated. Please don't fight for another day. Alright, so. Three from here. And we have ourselves. Shock the bus. Upstart Golden Ninja, Photon Leo, Galaxy Wave, Photon Circle, Double Defender, Slash Capture, Guarantee Card is Photon Drasher, and our last card is. Wait, how they go? Interplanetary Purple Dorny Dragon! <laughs> Interplanetary purpley dawny dragon. It went something like that. I don't remember how the jingle went. <laughs> Anyways, last two chances. Two packs are total duds. Man, I'm just happy that that streak of me pulling perfect packs, perfect at the hollow after hollow after better after better. I'm like, please let me get some regular rares. Please tell me. I am just not in. I've just been up like crazy hours these last few days. <clears throat> Anyways, we have Mark Mumble, Bolton Crusher, Degen Force, Interplanetary, Interplanetary Purpley Dorny Dragon, Shock the Puss again, and then we pull this a Oh, the Golden Ninja, followed by a Leo, and the guarantee is a Thrasher. An old card is a variable form. And now we have this left to go. Huh, it's kind of looking like a bad episode. Unless we happen to pull something crazy out of here. It's not looking so hot. That actually came out pretty smooth. Oh, man. I right, know what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean up this area. Get some rest. Do this again tomorrow or something. I don't know. I'm just rambly, rambly, rambly. Anyways, we have... Swallowtail Butter Spy, Insector Gauntlet, Constellar Belt, Commander of Swords, What Hell Dragon, Ex Zizrat, Overlayout, Guarantee Card is Heretic, Dragon of Tefnoit, and the final card is an Exector Ladybug, which again, this was a dud episode. Uh, beggars can't be choosers, probably the packs got weighed. Probably just my bad luck, but there's all the guarantees. Anyways, if you enjoy this series and want to see more episodes in the future, please make sure to annihilate the like button and give the subscribe button a little love too. So next time, folks, thank you for watching.